Okay, let's begin. Hello, hello. Welcome everybody. Hello, hello. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. We have another class here on Zoom. Today we have Thursday, September 28th, 2023. Thank you so much for being here. Let me show you what's going to be today's agenda, uh, which is pretty much section number two. We had a great time. So we're working with past tense. That is the one we are going to work today. Yesterday we were working a little bit with the past tense of verb to be, and today we're gonna close this section with um, past tense one more time. So it's nice to have you, welcome, and I hope everybody is okay and healthy. Okay, please say that. Thank you so much for letting me know. It's nice to have you, welcome. Good evening, everybody. Okay, thank you so much. Here we Good go. Evening, teacher. Good evening, mm -hmm. Evers. Nice to have you also, Marcos. Thank you so much for being here. Yep, let's begin. Okay, we're gonna have guess the brand. That is first. Look at the picture, look at the vocabulary and tell me what's the brand that you see here. Uh huh. Any idea? What's the brand? iPhone. Oh yes, it is an iPhone. By iPhone, very good. I, and then phone. What about this one? Guess the fruit. What's the fruit that we have here? Mm hmm. What What's the fruit? Oh, somebody wrote in the chat. Okay, Elisa. Thank you so much for letting me know. Welcome. So what is the fruit here? Mango, teacher. Mango. Mango. Yes, we have mango, right? Mango. Very good. Thank you. What about this one? Mm -hmm. Angry bird. Angry bird. Exactly right. So we have this popular game back in the days. I don't know if that's popular anymore, but that back in the day, this used to be a very popular name. Okay. Uh, we're going to have this picture. Tell me, please, um, Santos. Describe the picture. What do you see? Where is this person? What is he doing? Um, what, I mean, part of the day is this one, Santos. Tell me, please. Hello. Eh, que como le estoy viendo al hombre. Uh -huh. I mean, what is he doing? Uh, uh, where is this person? What part of the day is this? I see a man, men, uh, surfing. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Uh, uh, he is happy. Yes. And he's um, ver atardecer, me imagino. Oh, yes, very good. Está feliz de ver el atardecer. Exactly right, maybe. How do you say atardecer in English? Mm, no, no me acuerdo. Okay, any idea? Sunset. Somebody else? Sunset. Sunset. Exactly, el sunset, right? Very good. Thank you so much. We're going to have this conversation. Lucky you. Do you understand the title, Freddy? This is the title, Lucky you. Do you understand the title? Exactly, right? Very good. That is the meaning of this one. Lucky you. Okay. So I'm going to play the audio so you can listen uh, and read. Okay. Let's see. We just let me check the the, uh, the audio. So, oh, yes, everything is good. Here we go. Page 47. Exercise 9. Conversation. Lucky you. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. 
It was pretty cloudy, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Page 47. Exercise 9. Conversation. Lucky You. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was pretty cloudy. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Okay, so this is the conversation. Lucky you, Daniela Mercedes. Tell me, what is this conversation about? Um, well, Leia and Cody um, had a conversation about vacations and how um how como se dice la pasaron así como like um if they had a great time okay or how was their vacation okay so um they're talking about how was um uh their vacation and how fun was it mm -hmm. yes exactly thank you so much and how was the weather um marcos how was the weather H how was the weather like here in the conversation Oh, yeah, exactly. How was the weather? Okay. okay. Do you understand this part? Yes. Yes, oh, okay. No, realmente no, dice, yo prefiero es cloudy, no sé si es calor o caliente. No. Okay, cloudy, what is the meaning of cloudy? Cloudy. Anybody? Caluroso. Claro. Nublado, Nublado, right? Nublado. Nublado. Exactly. Okay. So, so no, muy a... bien, it was, estuvo, no estuvo, estuvo muy nublado. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. La palabra pretty, acuérdese que pretty es bonita, right? Pretty woman, yeah. But, but, a veces lo ocupamos para enfatizar a lot. You know what I mean? A lot. So pretty is like, oh, pretty cloudy. That means it was a lot of, right? Yeah, it was. So we instead of using a lot of, we can say it was pretty cloudy. Yes. Yep. Okay. So the weather was good or was not good, Marcos? Uh, entonces, it's not good. It's... Was. Was not good. Was. Exactly. Not good. Not exactly. Good. Was not good. good. Okay. Remember, this conversation is about past. So, everything is about past. So, you need to use was, where, and other verbs. Okay. Save the conversation, please. Guarda la conversation. And send the picture on WhatsApp group. Please do it. Uh, voy a abrir los breakout rooms sometimes so you can practice with your partners. Yes, this conversation. Yeah. Do me that favor and send the, the conversation on WhatsApp group so, so you can have it. And I will open the breakout room so you can practice with your partner at this conversation. Yep. Okay. Uh, so let me see. Okay. Let me see. Okay. 
Okay, do you have the conversation? Tiene todos la conversation? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes, yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, I will open the breaker rooms. Um let me see. Here we go. Okay. In the main room, in the main room, voy a dejar a Daniela Mercedes Olivares, Freddy Alberto Paz, a Jenny Elisette Escobar, and Liliana del Tránsito. You four stay in the main room. The rest of your classmates, please join the breaker room so you can practice. Okay? Here we go. You have, I think you have the picture on WhatsApp groups. So you can um, check what's up so you can have the the picture, okay? So please, um, please, I'm sorry, Santos, Jenny, Ronald, Tiffany, and let me see, Juan, Cindy, um, Ileana, uh, uh, Janessi, please join your partner so you can practice the conversation. Santos, uh, Jenny Lisbeth, Please join. Oh, no, get back, get back. Freddy. Okay. No, okay. Uh, okay, very good. So, so this is time for you to practice here. Okay, I will share um, the conversation so you can take terms and practice the conversation. No sé. Ok, friends. Eh, who start? <laughs> who start? Um, volunteer me. <laughs> me. 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 Okay. okay um, I, I am Cory. And uh, Okay, she... empiezo yo entonces. Okay. Hi, Cody. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was ex excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Uh, look at you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was pretty cloudy. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. Oh, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Next. The next. Next, Maria Vilma and Daniela. Hola. Eh, okay. ¿Quién soy yo? Uh, Lea, um, Maria Vilma, Cody. Okay. Um, hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was uh, excellent. Went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really, it was pretty close, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best things about the trip? Well, sometimes incredibly happened. And Liliana, el tránsito, please. And Jenny Tolosa. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was Hi. Soy Iba a Jorda. Si gustas, continúa usted. Bueno, gracias. It was excellent. I went to California with my coaching. We had a great time. Look you, how long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? 
Not really, it was pretty cold, but we went shopping every day. The walls were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something important uh, happened. Okay, friend, uh, who um, don't participate? Uh, Hi, yo no he participado, voy llegando, por eso. Uh, excellent. Uh, Jenny Marisol with me. Yes. Jenny Marisol okay. with me on um, another person or another person? Uh, uh, Jacqueline. Okay. Jacqueline and Jenny. Okay. Uh, no. Si no puedo bien pronunciarlo porque no he visto hasta ahorita. <laughs> dele, dele. <laughs> Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Look at you. How long were you day? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was pretty cloudy, but we went surfing every day. The, we the waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very good. I'm going to play the audio so you can check pronunciation of this one. Uh, so you can like uh, and also read at the same time. So let's listen and read. Page 47, exercise nine, conversation. Lucky you, part A, listen and practice. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was pretty cloudy. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline? Yes, teacher? You're going to be Leah and um, Daniela. Mercedes, you're Cody. Ready? Let's begin. Hi, Cody. How was your vac vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was pretty cloudy. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Thank you so much. Marcos, you are Cody. Uh, Ana Cristina, you are Leah. Ready? Let's begin. Eh, bueno, yo soy Cristina. Voy a comenzar. Me mencionó, ¿verdad? Yes, Ana Cristina. That's right. Okay. Conversation. Lucky you. And listen in practice. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was pretty cloudy. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best 
thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. 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 The, the, Thanks. At the end. Very good. Thank you so much, the two of you. Claudia, you are going to be Leah, Claudia. Yes. Uh, Sandra Noemi Pimentel. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. You are Cody. Ready? Let's begin. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? No, really. It was pretty cloudy, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible that happened. Perfect. Thank you so much, the two of you. Uh, Ileana Mariel, hello. Hello, teacher. You are Cody, Freddy, Alberto Paz. You are Leah. Ready? Let's begin. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was pretty cloudy. But okay. we went surfing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Perdí sonido. Ah, bueno, okay. Uh, repeat, please. The uh, not really. Go. The last. Well, something incredible happened. <laughs> So was uh, so what was the best thing about the trip? Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Well, okay, something yeah. incredible happened. Yeah, you got like uh, you lost connection here in this part. Thank you so much, the two of you. Jorge, you are Leah, Jorge, and uh, Juan, Jose Garcia, you are Cody. Ready? Let's begin. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. I, it was pretty cold, but we went surfing every day. The what the waves were amazing. Uh, what was the been the best thing about the trip? Well, sometimes something incredible happened. Very good, cloudy. Page. Very good. We're gonna have the grammar part on the video. Let's listen, watch, and take notes. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends.
Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. In this session, Thank you. So basically here we have did. Yesterday we were working with was and where, right? Which is for to be. But now we are including all the verbs like work, like when, like stayed, uh, like do, dance, and spend. So when we have all the verbs like this ones here, we're going to use with questions did, questions did, and with negative, we're going to have didn't, okay? Didn't, with all the subjects, okay? And again, this is about past tense. Any question about this? No. I am. Okay, a... very I good. have a question. Go ahead. Uh, commentary. <laughs> um, if we use did or didn't, um, we don't have to to use the the verb in in past, right? That is correct. Like the video says, right? Okay. Like the video says, when we use did, the verb goes in infinitive. Mm -hmm. Also, we have it this one with questions and also with negative answers mm -hmm. okay freddy you got a question um not teacher only a commentary okay go uh, ahead when we use uh, the bear in in present uh, i i i am uh, doing a question in aff affirmative. Yes, very uh, good. When, when, when I uh, uh, use negative, uh, I use uh, the verb, the main verb in past. No, an infinitive as well. Ah, an infinitive, ah, okay. Yes, perfect. so you see, you see here, didn't go. Ah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Okay. that is true. Thanks. That is true. The difficult part probably should be the affirmative. Yes, the affirmative here is the difficult part. Why? Because here you need to use the past tense, regular or irregular verbs. Yes, with questions, como dijo Freddy, right? Si yo escribo did, pues automáticamente el verb, this one here, lo escribo en su forma que lo conozco siempre, in infinity. Yes, entonces cuando yo digo did, Automatically, estoy comunicando, oh, this is past. Okay, what did Neil do on Saturday? Yeah. Also here, cuando tengo una negative, right? Look at here. Didn't, I didn't. Luego go is in infinity. Okay, so did goes with um, questions and also negative, and the verb goes in infinity. Just with the affirmative sentences over there, in this part, we're going to use the past regular verbs, any regular verbs. Yep. Oh, let me see. Okay, okay. 
What's the time? Hey, what time is it? Oh, Freddy. It's uh, eight uh, and 29 minutes. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Like now is what now was the time, Freddy? Hello, hello. <laughs> What's the time now? Uh, ah. <laughs> uh -huh. What's the time? Attendance time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Uh, what is another way of saying assistant? <laughs> what is another way of saying a thirty in English? Ah oh, yes, a uh thirty -huh. or um, uh -huh. how do I, how do I say ocho media in English? Ocho media. Oh, oh, eight oh, half. Very, eight, um, half, half. half. Oh, oh, half. half pass. Half pass. Half. half pass. Of past eight. Half past eight. Half past eight. Very eight. good. Half past eight. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz. Present. Welcome. Nice to have you. Briseida Yamilet Garcia de Crespin. You're right in the chat, right, Briseida? Thank you. Nice to have you. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Nice to have you. Welcome. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. Present. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Racinos. I am here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present. Thank you. Nice to have you. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Edith Carolina, thank you so much. Good evening. Welcome, Edwin Benjamin Sanchez Portillo. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you, Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. No, she isn't. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome, Ileana Maria Alvarado Mengibar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nice to have you. Genesi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present. Welcome. Good evening. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome. Janet Lisette Escobar Lucero. Present. Uh, Present. Yeah. What is the correct pronunciation of your first name? Jenny. Oh, Jenny, thank you. I apologize because I heard Janet, right? Yeah. yeah. Jenny, I apologize. Okay, welcome. Good evening. Nice to have you. Jorge Mauricio you. Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Welcome. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Present. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Come here, teacher. Welcome. Nice to have you. Good evening. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Yes, teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present. Welcome. Good evening. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening. Present, please. Nice to have you. Welcome. María Vilma Cortés Rivas. María Vilma Cortés Rivas. No, she isn't. Milena de Los Ángeles Aragón Pleites. Milena de Los Ángeles Aragón Pleites. No, she isn't. Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. No, in she the chat picture. Oh, in the chat. Okay. Thank you so much. I will check the chat when I finish taking the attendance. Okay. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Méndez. Present. Thank you. Good evening. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Here, teacher. Good evening. Wonderful. Let me check the chat on soon really quick so I can check uh, your classmates here. Briseida Elisa Garcia. Let me check. Elisa. Okay, very good. Thank you. Who else? Who else are in the chat? 
Uh, Jenny Lisbeth, eh, Santos, Edith, ok, Sandra Noemi, ok, mm -hmm. ok, Sandra Noemi, ok, so thank you so much, let me check this one really quick, ok, here we go, ok, can me a minute please? Okay. Okay, you're okay. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, no. Oh, jeez. I'm just checking the attendance really quick. Just give me a minute. Okay. And, uh, okay. Okay, no. Just give me a minute, please. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me show you a little bit really quick here uh, of a past tense. Okay. Thank you. Um, so we have this information as you may know. Okay, we have words got, when, and simple simple past tense. If you look at here, we have, this is the present, as you may know, simple present, and this is the past tense, okay? In English, we will see in past that we have regulars and irregular verbs. So this one is a regular verb, okay? So watched. Is the simple past. The easy thing here is with like, we just have the same rule for all these subjects here. Let's take a look of these examples. Okay. If you notice, these are rules. So that means the verse ends with ed. So is if a verb ends with ed, that means that is a regular verb. Why is a regular? Because it follows rule. So we have work, worked, clean, cleaned, star, started, dance, danced, stay, stayed, need, needed. Yeah. Uh, Jacqueline, please read these examples, Jacqueline. Thank you so much. These ones. Hello, Jacqueline. Are you there? Hello. Oh, thank you. Please read the examples. Uh, thank you. Oh, all the examples. Yes, these four. Okay. I brush my teeth every morning. This morning, I brushed my teeth. Uh, Terry worked in a bank from 1980. 87 to 1898. Okay, Jacqueline, can you read this one? It's two, two numbers, two numbers, 1987, 1998. One more time, please. Terry. Terry worked in a bank from 1987 to 1988, 98, sorry. That's okay, right? Perfect, beautiful, continue. Yesterday I rang all morning. I stopped at lunchtime. Okay, enjoy... I, excuse me, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Is I or it? It, sorry, oh, yeah. I am, um, I, I have talked wrong, sorry. We enjoyed 
the party last night. We danced a lot and talked to a lot of people. The party ended at midnight. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so if you notice, what are we using here? We are using regular verbs. Worked, rained, brushed, stopped, okay, danced, talked, ended. Okay, so all of these ones are regular verbs. Okay, all of these ones are regular verbs. Also, you have these expressions like yesterday. So you can like last night. Yes. Um that we midnight. go. Oh, exactly. Midnight. Yeah. Uh, midnight. Very good. Um, so we have this expression. No, but midnight, I think no. That one no, that's something else. We have here some spelling, I'm going to spell in of some verbs. Okay, some regulars. For example, try, tried. Stop, stopped. Mira, le duplico la double P. Study, studied. Plan, planned. Copy, copied. Okay? So this is with regular verbs. Also, <laughs> yo les comentaba que también tenemos irregular verbs. Que son estos que están acá. Yes? Con los regular verbs, irregular verbs is different. Si usted se fija, aquí los verbs no terminan en ed. Yes? Entonces solo está, this is the present. And this is the past. Freddy, go ahead. Uh, 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 can I help me with the pronunciation, the, the no. word, uh, the verb, da, dance, or dance, dance, what is? Uh, uh, oh, very good. Okay, give me a minute, please. Thank you. Okay, let's get back here. Aquí tenemos pronunciation. Tenemos dos formas de pronunciar, bueno, three forms. Una es T ending pronunciation, la otra es D ending pronunciation, y la otra es E pronunciation, con los regulars. ¿Qué son los regulars? Estos de acá, ¿eh? ¿vale? Entonces, uh -huh. esta pronunciación es t, t, al final del verbo, ¿ok? For example, worked. Worked. Danced. ¿vale? D es danced. 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 T, ¿Ok? Danced. danced. Exactly. Stayed. Ah, okay. Stayed. The. Stayed. The. Stayed. Stayed. Uh, and eat. Needed. Needed. Started. Yes. Uh, Con esta perfect. es un poquito más fácil porque la mayoría que terminan en D or T, el sonido es started, needed. Ok. Pero con estos dos es un poquito difícil. Ahora, my recommendation is like, eh, trate solo al final darle el sonido t o da. Worked, mm -hmm. danced, cleaned, danced. stayed, started, needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no Perfect. es mucha la intonation, es minimum. Y cuando, when you speak, when you speak, a veces ni se nota, right? Entonces mm -hmm. aquí es donde ocupamos yesterday, right? I danced all day, right? Mm -hmm. oh, last week. Yeah, so you can figure it out. Oh, last week is about past. So this person is talking about something in past. Okay? Perfect. A veces, Thanks. cuando usted escuche, pues no le, va, no le van a dar mucho la intonation, right? So you go with the context. So you can figure it out. That. Okay? Thank you. Let me stop it here. Okay. With irregular verse, it's difficult. With irregular verse, you just need to know. Oh, Jenny, tell me. I have a question. ¿Cómo saber, cómo identificar el sonido en el verbo? Si va a terminar en D, en T, o en ID. ¿Hay alguna regla? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Pretty much uh, va con las, con las consonantes que son voice consonants and voiceless consonants. Hay unas consonantes que tienen pues, vibración, right? Here. Y otras pues que no tienen vibración. Okay. Um, ahora, my suggestion here, because that part is, is quite, is, it, it takes a lot of time. And, and unfortunately, we don't have those. Uh, my suggestion is uh, you can go on YouTube and write ending pronunciation regular verbs. So you can practice a little bit more on that one. 
okay? Because uh, that part, it takes time to explain that. You know what I mean? And uh, here I'm just saying like really quick, what's the pronunciation? Yeah, but my suggestion as a teacher is uh, because of the time, unfortunately, uh, go on YouTube and write on the title, ending pronunciation, regular verbs, ED. So you can have a bunch of videos explaining about, about that. Yeah, because cause it takes time to learn that. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to, to get it. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, I just have 15 minutes for practice. And um, next Monday, I will, I'm going to be moving to the section number number three, yeah, which is for next week. So, um, yeah. Thank you, teacher. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, Jacqueline? Yeah, teacher, uh, could you uh, send us a link of some video about the topic that you were mentioned. Oh, sure, sure. I will do it at the end of the class. Uh, okay, thank you so probably much. by 10, after 10 p.m. I, I got some videos so you can watch. Like those videos are quite long. So so uh, you can uh, watch them on the weekend if you have the chance. But again, um, try to focus little by little because that part, is on how it stands. And that's why I told you yesterday with this part, section number two, uh, it won't be enough time to, to, to practice because this extends, it's, it's huge, the past simple. Okay, um, here is, you notice we have uh, irregular verbs and they don't have a rule. They just go with the way they are. So we have begin, began, break, broke, bring, brought, build, built, buy, bought, Catch, cut, come, came, do, did, drink, drunk, eat, ate, fall, fell, find, found, fly, flew, forget, forgot, get, cut, give, gave, go, went, have, had, hear, heard, know, knew, live, left. Lose, lost, make, made, meet, met, pay, paid, put, put, read, read, ring, rang, say, said, see, saw, sell, sold, sit, sat, sleep, slept, speak, spoke, stand, stood, take, took, tell, told, think, Thought, win, won, right, rot. So my suggestion is like, little by little. Usted se pone una meta, right? Tres verbs. Ocúpelos. That is the best way to learn English. Ocupando las cosas, right? Using it. Yes. So whenever you learn something, aunque sea minimum, but you need to use it. Yes. I know that you won't be able to learn all these verbs at once. But little by little, you say, oh, I'm going to learn two verbs today and I'm going to use them. Okay. Uh, if you see here, we have some examples. Uh, Marcos, please read these examples. Thank you. Hello, Marcos. Do you hear me? I think I lost Marcos because he doesn't answer. Marcos, are you there? Yeah, I think we lost connection with him. Daniela? Thank you. Hello. Read the examples, please. Go sure. ahead. Okay, teacher. We did a lot of work yesterday. I usually get up early, but this morning I got up at 9.30. Caroline went to the movies three times last week. And Paul came into the room, took off his coat and sat down code code very good so if you notice goes straight to the past pass 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 okay so uh, this is the way we use these ones um we're gonna do this one i'm sorry give me a minute okay i'm gonna show you the following okay this one is the chart 
okay because it's cost of the time okay um here we have the three waves we have the this is the base form of the verb here we have the positive statements i played we started you watched they had he saw she did it went this is affirmative sentence this is negative sentence and these are questions the ones that we are watching in the video yeah so these are the like the three ways if you notice here okay uh in this one we have did or didn't so we can just say oh did not and then the verb here okay goes in infinitive like in base form here also here we have the quest that the auxiliary did so the verb goes here in base form or infinitive form okay uh, this is the way we use it with questions now um let me show you the practice here so we can um have a little bit okay here we have complete the conversation okay um jacqueline thank you jacqueline let's begin with you tell me um did you have a good weekend yes yes i did very good continue i had a great time my sister and i went shopping on saturday we Perfect. spent all day at the mall thank you so much okay okay thank you okay so if you see this is the way we do it very good uh, continue um let me see freddy thank you yes continue please letter a <clears throat> letter a um anything special did, did, did you buy oh very good perfect freddy did oh jesus that's something else did you buy very good uh -huh. did you buy anything special um Letter B. Yes, please. Ah, okay. I um, I bo bought. Okay. Can you spell it, please? Thank you. I bought. Yeah. A spell new it. Laptop. Ah, bought. Uh, B O U G uh, H. Very good. T. E. Tomato. Very good. Continue. Mm -hmm. uh, a new laptop and I uh, and I got very good. Uh huh. Got um some new clothes too. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Genesi, continue please. Lucky you. Lucky you, what clothes did you buy? Did you bought or did you buy? Um, bought. Okay, I'm sorry, we're gonna have buy. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Buy. Acuérdese que cuando tenemos una question, right, o una negative, si ocupo did, ya no necesito lo demás sin paz, okay? Very good, continue. Well, I need it. Perfect. Great job. Continue. I needed some new boots. I got some great ones at the department store. Continue. What about you? What? did you do okay very good on saturday perfect thank you claudia yesenia continue 
I didn't do any special. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I didn't do anything special. I anything special. I stayed home. Very good. Perfect. Stayed home and and I worked around the house. Beautiful. Worked around the house. Continue. Oh, but I saw but I saw a really good movie. Perfect. Continue. On TV. And then I made dinner with my mother. Yes, continue. I actually enjoyed the day. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Ana Cristina, you are letter A. Jocelyn Tatiana, you are letter B. Yeah. Did you have a good weekend? Jocelyn, your microphone is off. Okay. Yes, I did. I have a lot of time. My sister and I went shopping on Saturday. We spent all day at the mall. Continue con nada. Yes, Ana Cristina. Very good. Okay. Did you buy anything special? Um, I bought a new laptop. And I got some new clothes, clothes too. Lucky you. What clothes did you buy? Bye. Well, I need some uh, new books. I bought some great ones, a uh, great time department store. What about you? What did you do on Saturday? I didn't um, anything special. I stay home and work around the house um, but I saw a really good movie on TV and then I made dinner with my mother. I actually enjoy the day. Thank you so much. That was very good. So if you notice here, we use a lot of verbs to communicate something in the past. So everything that we have here is about the past. Yes? Right. Um. And again, my suggestion is practice little by little, right? So you can, for example, you can make your a daily routine, right? And then you can say that daily routine in past. So you can like change those verbs in present, make them in past tense. Yeah. And you can practice that one. What did you do yesterday? Yes. What did you do um, last weekend? So you can practice like, like this one. Also, Another suggestion is like in the following exercise. If you see here, we have a list of verbs. What you can do is you can pick some of them and you can change them in the past. For example, what is the past tense of play? Play. Play, very good, right? What is the other one? Invite. Invited. Exactly right, invited, very good. What about arrive? Right. Arrived, very good. Yes, study? Study. Study, very good. Yes, hurry? Hurry. Hurry, very good. Yes, what about travel? Travel. Travel, very good. Traveled, right? Washed. 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 Very good. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Washed and looked. 
Look. 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 Very good. And then we have, what is the present of the verb did? Do. Do. Exactly. Do. Do. Very good. What about met? Meet. 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 Right. Yes. What about saw? See. 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 Yeah. What about slept? Sleep. 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 Right. Very good. What about spend? Spend. Exactly. Spend. Right. Just one letter change. What about letter uh, number seven? Drive. Drive. Very good. And what about Go. when? Go. Go. So if you see simple exercise, right? And then you can write sentences. We saw the Eiffel Tower in Paris last year. And you can use these verbs to make up sentences telling something that you did in the past. Okay? Uh, for the videos that you requested, I will send those later so you can watch them on the weekend and you can review pronunciation ending with regular verbs. But my best suggestion is use them little by little. What did you do yesterday? And you can start communicating what you did. Okay? So I'm going to stop it here. Enjoy the weekend, people. Take care. And we will see you next class on Monday. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 Good night.